here we have the elusive poo fish. Oh, it appears he spotted us. Let's not make a noise. Majestic he is. Throughout history, many strange and unusual creatures have been discovered on Earth, but perhaps none stranger than those found in the deep sea. Because little to no light is able to penetrate the deep, some pretty weird creatures have grown and evolved down there, and because 95% of the underwater world remains unexplored, more and more strange creatures are being discovered every day. So this week, I gathered the weirdest living things from the depths to share with you all. So here they are, the 10 strangest deep sea creatures ever discovered. Number one is the goblin. Goblin shark. Well, this is a promising start. Goblin sharks inhabit deep continental slopes and submarine canyons and are sometimes called a living fossil as it's believed to have a prehistoric lineage that dates back 125 million years. They generally grow to about 4 meters long and are known for their sword-like snout and highly extendable jaw. Like other sharks, it has several rows of teeth, can sense animals with electrosensitive organs, and has a body that's skinny yet flabby. Skinny fat, if you will. Because of its rarity and low incidence of capture, not much else is known about it, except that you're pretty much guaranteed to think about it next time you're in open waters. Go ahead, have a little Diverunsky. I'm sure it's perfectly safe. Number two is the ocean sunfish. The ocean sunfish, or mala mala, can be found in tropical and temperate waters around the world and is the largest known bony fish on Earth. These behemoths weigh in at an average of 1,000 kilograms and are so large that they are invulnerable to most predators in the ocean except for sharks and killer whales. Not only are they monstrously huge, but their entire bodies are flattened laterally, kind of like a giant fish pancake. Their diet consists of large quantities of jellyfish, which they use to maintain their massive size. Luckily they're harmless to humans which is a good thing because your entire body could easily fit inside its mouth. Death by fish pancake. Hup. Number three is the black swallower. The black swallower can be found in tropical and subtropical waters and has the ability to swallow fish larger than itself. A lot larger. It's a small fish measuring only about 25 centimeters but it has a greatly distensible stomach allowing it to swallow prey twice its size and 10 times its mass. It does this by seizing its prey by the tail and then slowly walking its teeth over it until it's fully coiled inside its stomach where it's slowly digested whole. There have even been cases where the prey swallowed was so large that decomposition set in before it could be digested. This fish is like that one guy at the all-you-can-eat buffet that just packs his gullet full because he wants to get his money worth like, okay, here we go. Hop, hop. Oh, oh, I regret nothing. Number four is the giant isopod. Oh, Jesus! Uh, the giant isopod is the largest known member of the isopod family and is supremely creepy. Located in the cold, deep waters of the Indian Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, this horrific crustacean can reach up to 40 centimeters in length and weigh up to 1.7 kilograms. They're very closely related to those little pill bugs that you find in your garden and just like them can roll themselves into a tight ball where they're protected by their strong armor-plated shells. It spends its time scavenging the ocean floor for food and is carnivorous, meaning that yes, it eats meat. Perhaps yours if you get close enough. Number five is the vampire squid. The vampire squid's Latin name literally translates to vampire squid from hell because well, look at it. Found in various tropical and temperate oceans around the world, it's evolved the largest eyes of any animal in proportion to its size in order to capture as much light as possible while hunting in the deep. It can reach up to 30 centimeters in length, has a mouth full of teeth-like spines, and can even wrap itself inside out to use them for defense. In addition, when threatened, it releases a bioluminescent ink that dazzles and confuses predators while it escapes. It can also emit a bluish light to help camouflage itself, kind of like a hellish nightlight. I feel like it doesn't need that many defense mechanisms. I mean, what kind of fish is going to dick with this thing? If sharks have nightmares, this is it. Number six is the Atala jellyfish. And somehow this list continues to get stranger. The Atala jellyfish, or Coronet medusa, is a species of deep sea crown jellyfish that lives in oceans around the world. It's typically red and has 22 tentacles, including one long one that it uses to capture prey. They average about 20 centimeters in length and can reproduce sexually and asexually. Interestingly, when attacked, it will launch a series of bright flashes that will actually attract larger predators in hopes that it will scare off the original predators predator, earning it the nickname of alarm jellyfish. But wouldn't that then present it with a much larger problem, quite literally? Hmm. 
Yeah, Mother Nature, you didn't quite think that one through, did you? Number seven is the anglerfish. The anglerfish can be found in tropical and temperate oceans and is hideous in oh so many ways. It gets its name from its long modified dorsal spine, which is tipped with a light producing organ known as a photophore. It uses it to attract prey like a fishing pole by flashing a light at its tip and then snaps up its prey with its long fang like teeth. Females are much larger than males, 18 centimeters compared to only three centimeters, but the strangest thing is how they reproduce. Males engage in what's called parasitic reproduction by joining blood vessels with the female, spending the rest of their life joined to her like a parasite. Males will continue getting all of their nourishment from the female's body throughout their entire life, and if they don't join with a female, well, they simply starve to death. Evolution's a cruel mistress. Number eight is the viperfish. One of the fiercest predators of the deep, the viperfish can be found in tropical and temperate waters around the world. Its fangs are so large that they can't fit in its mouth, which it uses to injure its prey by swimming at it at high speeds. Similar to the anglerfish, it has photophores on strategic places on its body, including one on a long dorsal fin that serves as a lure for its unsuspecting meals. They vary in color between green, silver, and black, and sometimes don't have any pigment at all. They grow to lengths of up to 60 centimeters and can live up to 40 years in the wild, yet rarely live more than a few hours in captivity, suggesting that this thing probably lives to terrorize the ocean. Look at that face, Jesus. Number nine is the stonefish. Stonefish can be found in the coastal regions of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, Florida, and the Caribbean, and are the most venomous fish in the world. The most striking thing about the stonefish is that it's perfectly camouflaged to look like a stone on the floor of a coral reef. It has 13 spines along its back that release venom that can kill humans within only a few hours so don't step on it. Interestingly, they're a popular dish across parts of Asia as their venom is harmless once it's heated. They're usually cooked with ginger into a clear soup or sometimes are served raw as sushi or sashimi. Yeah, well, I love sushi, but I'm not about to eat grumpy McVenom spine over here. Look at him. He's just hoping you'll undercook him. And number 10 is the carpet shark. Carpet sharks also go by the weird name tasseled wobble gong, and that's just the first weird thing about them. They inhabit the shallow coral reefs off northern Australia and New Guinea, and despite looking like a throw rug, are actually quite dangerous. Reaching up to 1.8 meters long, it has rows and rows of jagged sharp teeth, which give it the ability to eat other fish whole, including other sharks. Because it's so well camouflaged, it can easily lure prey by simply wagging its tail to simulate a tiny fish, and then it pounces. Luckily, they hunt in areas that are too deep for most humans, but if you're a deep sea diver, you're running the risk of being eaten by a rug and we'll make sure that's on your tombstone. And that's it for this video, guys. Of course, there were a lot of runners up for this list. Honorable mention, the colossal squid, super creepy. So if you wanna learn more about these, just Google strange deep sea creatures. There's a lot more out there. And I just wanted to remind you guys that if you haven't yet liked my Facebook fan page or followed my personal Facebook account, now would be a good time to do that. My fan page is one of the best ways to keep up to date with what I'm doing on YouTube, including my videos and behind the scenes stuff. And my personal Facebook account is the best way to stay up to date with stuff that's happening outside of YouTube, like pictures and interviews and you know, just stuff from my personal life. So make sure that you like and follow and I will see you all back here next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace. The poop fish says hello. Thanks so much for watching my new video guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, remember to click that big red subscribe button below so that you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. And don't forget to like my Facebook fan page and follow my personal Facebook account so you can stalk me. No, please don't do that. You can digitally stalk me. And uh, that's it. And I'll see you back here next weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye.